Hey guys, this is Greg with the G-Bocker Adventure Chronicles. Welcome to my channel. I am out for an overnight tonight. That should be fun. Technically, it's supposed to rain, and I've got the Napier truck bed tent, the sports series with the awning. So hopefully we get some rain. We can check this tent out here for potential leak issues. Uh, but other than that, even if it doesn't rain, what the heck? I'm out here camping. Doesn't get any better than that. I've got me a Michigan Amber Ale by a Big Lake Brewing. I have an MRE, menu number three, which is chicken noodles and vegetables sauce for dinner tonight. So anyways, we're gonna have a good time just relaxing and uh, hanging out by the campfire. So with that, won't you please stay tuned? Okay, I'm going to give you a little walkabout as far as how I've got the uh, truck bed tent set up for the overnighter. So why don't we do that right now. I've got my nice comfy chair right there. I do have my table, my MRE, and my uh, canteen, my military surplus. So yes, this video is kind of a combination of some military surplus and the Napier truck tent. And as you can see inside... Right now, I don't have the rain fly on, but I have the actual tent set up, so I'm getting plenty of ventilation. I love it. There's three big windows in here, which gives me plenty of ventilation. And then some little vents up in the corner on both sides, which is kind of cool, which will give me a little more uh, ventilation when I want to close the windows for privacy tonight. And then I do have my gear hanger up on top, my gear net, and a nice light with a fan right below that. Uh, I've got my, uh, let me open this up a minute. I've got my uh, one tigress cot set in here, along with my NeoAir air mattress pad. And I do have a Coleman fleece for laying on and my 20 degree quilt it's not going to get that cold tonight i don't think it's going to get down to the 40s but still i sleep kind of cold so i kind of want to have a little warmer quilt and up there i do have my sea to summit oversized pillow and then my uh, big blue pillow right there too i also brought my backpack which is my big agnes knockoff in the uh, camouflage pattern there with all my gear and stuff in there and i love the fact that you got this nice floor all the way around the whole tent area so it keeps you kind of in the clean cleanliness not the dirty bed of the truck that you typically would have and as you can see we got this nice awning here there are tie downs so that I can actually tie the awning down if I need to but right now we don't have much wind at all if any so that's kind of nice it gives you a little coverage underneath the outside of the tent so you're kind of out of the sun or the rain if you need to sit outside Again, I don't have my rain fly on, so it does give me a lot of nice ventilation and whatnot. And for sleeping, I mean, this would be perfect if it wasn't raining. Uh, you get plenty of ventilation that way. And over here, you can see we got the front. There is a window so I can access into the cab of my truck from in my Napier tent if I need to. Check around the other side. See, this is my fire starting kit right here for making the fire tonight. And this is what's kind of nice too. I've, I got these uh, pads from Napier that you put onto the straps so it keeps the straps from rubbing onto your finish, which could cause a, you know rubbing the finish off. And I got I got them on all four sides or all two sides. All six of straps have got that nice little uh, cover on there to protect my finish on my truck, which I really do like. Right now I'm at my pal Al's property. He's allowed me to camp here again and do some videos. And here's my old uh, uh, fire heart that I put together when I had my uh, poly tarp tent all set up, which was right here. So, yeah, we're not going to use that fire pit, though. I did bring a nice fire pit over here. 
which I'm going to use to build the campfire in tonight. I've got my tomahawk, plenty of wood around here, a little table for setting stuff on, which is nice. And I got a little stack of some firewood right here, which I will take advantage of tonight. Plenty of firewood there. So yeah, should be a good time. little zippo tinder shreds makes it very easy to start fires my brothers of bushcraft bushcraft knife This whole forest area here is all pine, so that really makes it for good fire starting anyways. And then I brought some oak in too, because obviously oak burns a lot longer compared to pine. Pine burns so fast. Cheers guys, sitting by the campfire just relaxing, don't get any better than this. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, today I'm going to have menu number three, MRE, which is chicken noodles and vegetable sauce, right here. So I'm thinking maybe like a chicken a la king or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's open the package. These things are so cool because they basically give you uh, more than just like one evening. I mean, they have pretty much everything in there from coffee to uh, toilet tissue if you need it. It's kind of nice because these little MREs are basically, you know, our military uh, obviously eat these. But they're so compact and they come with everything. I mean, you can use the outer bag right here, you know, as a trash bag when you're done uh, eating everything that's all in there. But let's see what else is in this MRE. It's all double sealed, which is nice. And the first thing we have looks to be the main course, which is the chicken and noodles right there also we have the warming tray and also it gives you the um, recipe of what's in the, the meal and we also get some raspberry applesauce well, that sounds pretty good 
Oh, this is really cool. We got some Skittles. Don't know how good they are. They feel like they're kind of melted all together, but anyways, we got Skittles. And we also have a little packet of peanut butter. We have a miscellaneous kit or a, that has everything from chiclets to toilet tissue to matches. Uh, coffee typically is in here. All kinds of good stuff. A wet ones or wet wipe is all in there too, which is kind of nice. And then we do have the old crackers for spreading the peanut butter on. And then we also have some lemon lime flavored drink mix. Don't know if I'll do that today, maybe tomorrow. Along with some apple jelly to go along with the uh, crackers. So you get peanut butter and jelly, which is good. And then you have your typical MRE spoon that comes with it. So you actually have a spoon with you. And then a little pepper sauce to spice it up if I'd like. And last but not least, we're going to have the heat pack, which is what this is right here. You basically put your meal in there, put a little bit of water in there, and then they actually self-heat, which is kind of nice. Oh, and they do give you another bag here for mixing up the beverage mix. Kind of like a little glass if you want. So there we go. But anyways, let's get this thing cooking. And in the heater, you basically have the uh, the package. That's your heating element right there. That activates when you have water on it. Oh, it's kind of funny. It says uh, if you can get it focused in there. Don't eat. <laughs> Anyway, so we'll get that in there. There we go. Get down the bottom there. And then we are going to put the main course, which is the chicken and noodles, inside there as well. And then we need to add some water. Oh, the smoke just shifted. Woo. Okay. And it says, do not overfill. So we will try not to overfill it. And that's about right, right there. Then we'll close this lid up and kind of work that water into that element. And hopefully it starts to heat up. I think we got her mixed up good. Put it in this little packet right here. And the key to it, too, is to leave it on a 45 degree angle. So whether you're leaning it up against a rock or whatever, you want to put it on a 45 degree angle. So I'm just going to set it right there on an angle, like so, aiming down. So anyways, we'll see if that heats up. I had to rearrange myself. That smoke was getting in my eyes. It was awful. So anyways, it's starting to heat up right now, so we'll kind of let it go, and uh, we'll check on it in a little bit.
That was kind of cool. It was a deer that kind of came from the woods over there. I caught a glimpse of it. Hope you can see it. I'll put it in the video if I got a shot of it. Man, what a gorgeous evening it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm so relaxed. Got my campfire. I got my beer. Got my nice comfy chair. Should have a nice comfy bed for sleeping tonight. There isn't nothing better. <laughs> Even if it's just for one night. Than going out camping. Whether it be in a hammock. A tent. Something a little fancier like my uh, truck bed tent. It's just awesome. So if you're ever feeling a little bit down. Or kind of stuck in a rut. Get outside. Do some camping. Yeah, it's perfect. I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna squeeze me out a little applesauce. Uh, these pouches are designed to just kind of eat right out of them. We'll see what this applesauce tastes like. It smells really good. Let's give it a shot. That's really good. Very good. Yeah. Mmm. Awesome. Applesauce with raspberry puree. That was awesome. Nice. That was good. <clears throat> now, we'll give the crackers a shot. I kind of know from experience. Crackers are not necessarily all that great, but I mean, if you're in a pinch, anything is good, right? I think another word for this is hardtack, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a note in the comments down below. There you go. Get two wafers. Look like crackers. Get a little peanut butter, a little apple jelly. I do know for a fact you want to squish these to mix everything all up because they have the tendency to separate, especially the peanut butter and the cheese because they do give you a cheese spread every once in a while. Apple jelly's all mixed up good. Peanut butter, we'll get that all mixed up good. The oil has a tendency to separate from the peanut. So you want to get all mixed back up again. Ah, oh, darn smoke, switched again. Now I'll put a little peanut butter on there first. Peanut butter's got a lot of protein in it, so I can see why they would add, one of the, add this to the MRE. Oh, it tastes good. Now a little apple jelly. Looks like honey. There. Check that out. Nice little snack before dinner. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Better yet, got to sandwich it up. There we go. Hmm. Well, that peanut butter and jelly cracker was really good. How's my MRE coming? Ooh, she's still warming up. But yeah, let's kind of get a look at what's in that little, uh, the fancy pack that comes with it, which is all your extra stuff. Let's kind of go through that. And it looks like we have some matches. It's nice. 
some chiclets, get you some fresh breath after you get done eating it. A moist towelette, which I will need that. Yeah. After that peanut butter and jelly. And we also have some toilet tissue. That's kind of important out in the field. A little sugar, a little salt. And right here we have some instant freeze-dried coffee. Right there. And last but not least, some non-dairy coffee creamer. Okay, let's check the ration out. I think it's got to be pretty close to being done. Well, <laughs> doesn't look too appetizing, but hey, you know. It's kind of nice to give you a nice, good-sized spoon. Well, let's see how she tastes. <laughs> doesn't look too appetizing, does it? You know, it doesn't taste too bad. Got some real chicken in there. Uh, look at some uh, red pepper, some noodles. Huh, not bad. Well, I'm going to sit here and finish up my chicken and noodles and vegetable sauce. And I'll get back with you. Well guys, it's getting late, so I think I'm just going to sit here and uh, relax for a little bit, finish up my beer, my Michigan Amber by Big Lake Brewing, and then I'll pack up and hit the hay. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Well, hey guys, good morning. Had an awesome sleep last night. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't rain. Dang it. Uh, I think this morning, it's gorgeous outside. Holy cow, it's blue skies, sun is shining. Uh, temperatures right now are in the low 50s. It got down to the low 40s last night. Uh, so it got kind of chilly in the back of that truck. I ended up having to put a couple extra layers on. Uh, but other, other than that, I think I'm just gonna cook up some breakfast and then pack things up and then head back home. There we go, water's boiling. I don't want to make it too boiling hot. I gotta be able to drink it. So I think today I'm gonna to drink some Folgers coffee. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> oh, she's hot. Anyways, good morning, guys. Well, I hate to say it. It's time to get packed up and head out of here. So uh, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell, and I'll let you know when I upload more videos. And please share, because that really helps the channel. But other than that, this is Greg with the Gbocker Adventure Chronicles, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and happy camping, guys. Bye-bye.